everybody, David the AI Guide here for a new episode on AI and robotics. But real quickly before that, just want to give a shout out to NASA and SpaceX. They tried to launch the Crew Demo 2 Dragon today, but it didn't work due to weather. So tune in on Saturday to see this epic event. Americans launching on American rockets for the first time since 2011 and the first new space vehicle since 1981, which was a very long time ago now. So uh, we're going to talk about robots and robots are like other technologies we've talked about. So how do you think robots have been around? How long, when do you think they were invented? Maybe you think the 1950s, right? No. How about 400, between 400 and 350 BCE by Archytas in Greece? It was a mechanical bird, and Archytas is considered the father of mechanical engineering. So think about that. Engineering as a discipline has been around all the way since uh, over 2,000 years ago. <laughs> It's amazing to think about that. Um, and the interest in robots continued for a long, long time. All those years, uh, Da Vinci was interested in robots, right? So that was during the Renaissance. But then fast forward, I told you a number of videos ago about George Duvall, who invented the first practical robot in the 1950s that was at the GM uh, smelting plant. And George uh, was a genius and uh, the rest is history as they say. But hey, robots are not gonna just be used at work. In fact, I think I also mentioned uh, the robot that Toyota Motor Research is developing to do household tasks. And they already have this robot capable of loading and unloading the dishwasher and putting the dish dishes away in the cabinet and putting stuff into the refrigerator and taking it out. And so it won't be long before they're general purpose household robots. But household robots are already here, right? Uh, many people have one of those now. Uh, I'm talking about vacuum cleaners. I uh, The first uh, vacuum cleaner robot was invented way back in 1996, and it didn't work out. It just wasn't commercially successful. It didn't work well, and they pulled the plug on it in 2002. But then in 2005, iRobot launched the Roomba, which immediately took off. And... Uh, a couple of years after that, they launched a uh, robot that mops the floors for you. And then fast forward to their latest generation. And their latest generation has inbuilt AI. Uh, that's the Roomba 980. And it intelligently figures out where to go, what pattern to do, lets you know when it's full, all that stuff. All AI is going to be super prevalent in the home. And I think we talked about in appliances AI, uh, and we've talked about Alexa or Google Home. And so AI is going to be truly pervasive and it's really still in its infancy. But this whole episode with robotic vacuum cleaners uh, points out something very important for you guys who are just starting on your careers or thinking about college. Uh, and the important lesson is that the first person to invent a technology is not always the one to make it commercially successful at all. There are many, many examples of this. So it was the second group, in this case, uh, iRobot, who commercialized the robotic vacuum but another example is Google. Google was not the first search engine at all. 
yet it was the category killer. Sometimes it's better to be second or third because you can see the originating technology and improve on it by orders of magnitude and make it ubiquitous. And that's exactly what Google did. So when you're thinking about inventing something new, it doesn't have to be brand new. It can be a new version of something existing that's truly different in some way and takes over the category. So uh, we're going to talk quite a bit more about robotics, not only in this industry segment, of which this is part one, but when we get to the point where we're just doing current events all the time, uh, robotics is going to come up all the time. Why? Because AI and robotics are a natural for each other. They're two technologies that work better together. So that makes them, as Peter Diamandis says, converging technologies. And the world is going to change profoundly because of the combination of AI and robotics. By 2040, your mind will be blown. See you Saturday.